He kōna e pūrangi tēnei nā te reo irirangi o Aotearoa. This podcast was made with funding from the Public Interest Journalism Fund. Kia ora nga kōtou katoa toa. Welcome to In Case You Missed It. Ko tāne tōku ingoa. Time to tahuna te ahi with a look at what's been happening here in Aotearoa and overseas. This week we're celebrating Epe Toma o Te Reo Māori Kuki Airani, Cook Island Language Week. And this year's theme is A Tui Tui Ia Au Ki Te Au Peu o Tōku Kainga Ipu Kārea, which means connect me to the traditions and culture of my homeland. Kia ora. Now we've reported previously about the ongoing screenwriters and actor strikes happening in Hollywood causing disruptions both overseas and in Aotearoa. Jason Momoa this week celebrated his birthday in the South Island, but his next potential blockbuster, the Minecraft film, has been put on indefinite hold. Up to 700 local cast and crew members recruited for the production here are now out of work. The live-action adaptation of the popular game has been in development with Warner Brothers since 2014. Now, do you love pies? How does a roast duck, onion and mushroom pie sound? Well, this week, it was judged New Zealand's best pie at the Bakel Supreme Pie Awards. It's now the eighth time baker Patrick Lamb of Patrick's Pies in Tauranga took out the top prize. It's quite risky that sometimes they just might not like it, but we would like to try the new thing. Over 4,000 pies were entered this year with the judges doing a blind taste test so they don't know who has baked which pie. This week, new rules around vaping come into force with new restrictions like bans on single-use disposable vapes and limits on what the flavours can be called. New vape stores also won't be able to open within 300 metres of schools in a bid to stop kids from being enticed to start vaping. Existing stores can stay open though. Parents at an Auckland primary school protested this week about a new store opening right next to the school gate. I think most people will say here they were just, you know, horrified and aghast that it's been allowed to be, especially after the government comes out and suggests that they're putting regulations in place to not let this happen. Vaping might be seen as all the rage, but people might not quite be aware of what they're inhaling. Vaping first appeared in the mid-2000s as an alternative to smoking regular cigarettes. Smoking burns tobacco and creates smoke. Whereas vaping heats up e-liquid, which makes a vapour. Both are inhaled into the lungs. We've known for years that smoking is really bad for your health. (coughs) And the biggest risks of vaping are still unknown because they just haven't been around long enough. But here's what we do know about vapes. The makers give them cute names and lolly flavours like cherry, bubblegum and strawberry. Oh, that was so cute! But despite the pretty colours and flavours, all vapes contain an oily mixture of harmful chemicals called e-liquid that turns into a vapour that coats your lung tissues. Chemicals like formaldehyde, a flammable industrial chemical used in building materials. It's also used to prevent dead bodies from decaying. This toxic chemical can cause heart and lung disease. Diacetyl is a food additive that makes things taste good, but it also scars your lungs and has been linked with irreversible lung disease. (coughs) Acrolein is a chemical most often used as a weed killer and is damaging to the lungs. And benzene is a chemical found in car exhaust. It stops your body's cells from working properly and damages your immune system by destroying white blood cells. Most vapes contain highly addictive nicotine, whose long-term effects worsen symptoms of depression and anxiety. Every time you vape, all those toxic chemicals are coating your lungs. So next time you see someone vaping, try to imagine how their lungs look and what it's doing to their body. The latest stats indicate that nearly 85% of New Zealanders are now smoke-free, which means most of us are choosing not to smoke. The New Zealand government has set a new goal so that by 2025, fewer than 5% of New Zealanders will be smokers. Before we go, in Whangarei, a young fur seal caused quite the stir amongst customers at a local Bunnings store when she was discovered wandering the aisles. Customers and staff used dishwashers and ovens to barricade the pup and keep her safe until the Department of Conservation staff arrived to remove her. She was returned to Reotahi Marine Reserve around 30 kilometres west of the store. Well, that's me for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. In case you missed it, we'll be back at Wiki. Te opotoma o te reo Māori kuki airani. Hei kona.
This podcast was made with funding from the Public Interest Journalism Fund.